Welcome. Good morning, little Timmy. What's up? Oh, shit. I can't hear you. What's up? Can you hear me? Oh, fuck. I lost little Timmy again. God damn it. We got this new um, stuff we're doing, guys. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna be able to play this here. I don't know what happened to little Timmy. He's gone. Fuck. Okay. We got to get little Timmy back, y'all. So we got this new software that we working with. And um, it's fire. It really is. It's fucking fire. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is way too early for this shit, but we out here anyway. Okay. And we out here doing what we do because that's what the fuck we do. Hey, little Timmy's back. It would, no. it would not be the same if you go. did not leave the broadcast. What's up? I got you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Huh? I got you. Okay. If we don't have an echo, do we? No. All right. We we got to invite our friends. What's up, baby? Hey, boo-boo. How you doing? I'm good. Busy weekend time. Yeah. Welcome to the party, God damn it. Welcome yeah. to the party. What'd you do this weekend? Uh, I did a show in Long Beach, New York. I ain't never going back. That was about a nine-hour drive, felt like. I ain't never been that far in New York. Where the fuck is Long Beach? Not too far. Way past Coney Island. It's like it's like a um, Long Island. Okay. It's way out there. It's way out there. Coney Island's still open? Yeah, believe it or not. Is it? Yeah, then I did a show in Philly last night. So I'm, How was that? I'm, that was great. Now I'm under the weather. I'm a little sick. Aww. Yeah, I'm sick of bills. Sick of my kids. What's up? Wife. <laughs> Welcome to the party. What's up, boo? Hold on. Let me put our title in here. We don't have our title in here. Yeah, put our title up there, girl. Let them know what it is. I forgot. <laughs> Let them know what it is. It's too early for this shit. It's too early for this motherfucking shit. What's up, Henry? Welcome to the party, sir. How you doing? Oh, shit. I don't have no sound, Timmy. What happened to the sound? What's up? Okay, you back. Hey, you, I ain't know what happened. Uh, I felt like, bad weather. We got we got a new program. We're trying to upgrade. Yeah, we're trying to upgrade so we can bring y'all all of the shit that we laugh about. Yeah. Yeah, all at the same time. Who just came? Welcome to the party, whoever that is. Oh shit. No, we don't want quiet mode. We want noisy mode. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning. We working things out, so don't judge us, okay? Right. New we program. Get out, but we got some shit for your ass today. Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. I got I gotta get out of here. I gotta keep this open. So just tell me about your weekend, Timmy. My weekend busy, that's all. And a good mother's day. You Whatever. Did. What'd you yeah. do? Went out to brunch then Huh? Show Philly. No. You didn't good. you do two? Went out to brunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in New York okay. first. It was, it was. I did a church well, in New York. I ain't never seen this. Uh, the, the, the church looks just like a house. You ain't never seen a church like that. This is like a house, no. huh? I see them kind of churches. Hey, Bree, Bree, welcome to the party, boo. Timmy, uh, Richard said he wanted a T-shirt. Henry, oh, I keep uh, looking. Henry keep throwing me off with that bullshit. Now nah, I got a new T-shirt line. Call uh call power line my new my new uh, my new line. Okay. I got a new a new uh, new t shirt line I just started. Look, Harry. Look niggas. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> go go to a white channel then, nigga. <laughs> See what you get. <laughs> Boy. Uh, I know they I, I know they probably gonna be on time and the shit they use probably work, but so what? <laughs> I know, right? So what? So what they more organized? We the most unprepared, prepared show you'll ever see. That's our shtick, nigga. We That's unprepared, prepared. Yeah. We ain't got to be prepared. Fuck prepared. Prepared for flunkies. Right. <laughs> That's, like me. That's like me and bills. I don't make payments. I make arrangements. <laughs> That's my bill model. Who pay they motherfucking bills? Who pay bills? No. I make arrangements. <laughs> 
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the party. So me and little Timmy, we testing out some new software this morning. And um, this is our new studio mix. And we're going to be, yes. wait, I'm showing too much of my, my back there. But that's that's what's going on. I'm kind of, that's what's mm. fucking going on. Don't judge us. We out here in these streets trying that's to make things happen. That's right. We don't have Cause right. We're trying to get some sponsors. Right now, we're sponsored by, uh, uh, I think, Kotex. And jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we from Carta and CBD oil. Jimmy's little junkie friends <laughs> to repossess our shit. They trying to invest in them. They told me everything. I, I like y'all little show. How much it cost to invest? Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> good morning. Oh, bad bye. Oh, bye on the feet. Had a great Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. So tell me about your Mother's Day, Timmy. How'd it, it go? It was good. I mean, we went went to go eat. You know, it's just the same old thing, you know? My son, this motherfucker, my son drew my wife a gift. He drew my wife a card. Aww. No, nigga, he's 24. That's the problem. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not like 20-something. <laughs> yeah, he drew a card. So I drew his ass in the park. <laughs> <laughs> I drew his ass in the apartment, so he should be moving out. He should be moving out soon. He should be moving out next week. Did the nigga at least use um crayon? No, nah, this nigga <laughs> used magic marker and, uh, and, and white. He used he didn't use white out. How do you use white out on a black card? He done. <laughs> Henry say his girl make him pay bills on time. Congratulations. Really? That's, that's what girls. Yeah, do. you know what, Henry? You know that's fucked up. She making you be responsible, nigga. I know. That's the so, what kind of woman is that to make you feel responsible? About time, nigga. You're 49 <laughs> years old. You should have been did this shit. That's you, want somebody, you want us to clap for you because you found responsible. <laughs> Welcome to the party. So, listen. I had a really good weekend. Really? Uh-huh. I, I didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. I, I didn't do no work shit. I did, you know, hang out. I ended up going yeah. to this uh, event with uh, where Sylvia Traymore Morrison was mm -hmm. and comedian A-Train. And um, Sylvia did an excellent job. She did mm -hmm. a wonderful job doing what she does. She always do. I have to, let me just go on. Hey, Bree. My, my mother's day was perfect. That's a breeze. What happened? What you do, Bree? Yeah, what did you do? What did you do? Let me tell you, so... I um me and you know one time we was on the field, you know we fuck with everybody. Right. We fuck with everybody and we do not discriminate. So all I'm saying is, you know, when me and Lester talked about Sylvia's titty on here, we did not mean no harm. Sylvia was harmed by it, so I have to publicly apologize to her because she is a vet in this game and she did blaze some trails for female comedians. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we take our craft just a little bit far. Right. Think that we we can make any and everybody the butt of our jokes and really right. ain't cool. So I'm going on here like a big girl, like a big girl panties on Timmy. And uh I'm going to a big girl panties. You, that's some big ass panties, yo. That's shit. You you got apologize one time for the whole fucking year. <laughs> big ass draws. <laughs> <laughs> they three hundred sixty five day panties. All you have to do is say it once, and she should be good for the whole year. Good morning, good morning, Bradley. Fuck you, Bradley. Yes, I fixed this shit. Bradley was on here. Thank you for working with us last night, right. helping us try to get this shit together, man. So right. all I'm saying is, right. you know, that's what happened. Yeah, we're gonna stop talking about Bunny. Who's Bunny? Who's Bunny? I don't know what that is, Henry. Yeah, so anyway, that's that. Sylvia did her thing. It was a Mason event. Really? Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. what, kind of, what kind of event was it? It was uh, like their annual ladies, ladies night out event. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately for me, the, the ladies were about 73 and the men were 89 plus. So, you should have called me. You, you should have called me. That's my type of woman. I know. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Go down on them women. <laughs> vagina tastes like oh, I like that. Ain't nothing like a vagina tastes like preparation age. 
Uh, oh, I like that. It's, <laughs> it's like it's like eating it's like eating fried chitlins. No, every <laughs> fatty as shit. He gonna say that Sylvia Street name, Bunny. <laughs> well, fried chitlins. No, I'm just I like going to old women. I like the old women. You should have called me, girl. I just scooped all them up. <laughs> what's up? What's up, Bradley? Let me tell you right now. I like a woman. I like a woman. Say, come on, as we finish making love, where you gonna go? Dialysis. I like them old bitches. <laughs> Cause you can't you can't take no young bitch, Timmy. You you talk about being forty seven, but you couldn't fuck with them young bitches when you was twenty seven. Okay, I don't want no young girl. What the fuck, I want a young girl for? Huh? So Bree said she went to church. Her husband bought her dark chocolate from Godiva. Son gave her a card. She spent with she spent the day with her mom and mom in law. Oh, that's, oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Welcome to the party, Keith. Y'all like and share this feed. We right here. Y'all know we in here. We doing this. It's getting better. How y'all like the uh, new setup? Let me tell you something. First of all, that Godiva candy, expensive as shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I went, I, went, I, went right this, I went right to Walgreens, got my wife some goddamn movie candy. Fuck all that shit. She ain't worth no Godiva. You better take these goddamn, uh, you better, you better take this, you better take this goddamn, uh, uh this cookie dough. It's chocolate chip cookie dough. I fucking Godiva. I hear these motherfucking streets. I know. Goddamn Godiva. Look, my mom is gone, so uh, may she rest in peace. I don't really do a yeah. lot of Mother's Day no more because my mom is gone, you know? Mine too. I understand. Yeah, I just like. No, my mother, my mother just moved out last week. She's gone. <laughs> About time. She's been here for like a three a year. About time she left this fucking house. That's so stupid. No, my mother is she did pass away though. <laughs> I, I did a joke last I did a joke last night about my mama my mama passing away that the women were like, oh, I ain't right. I did I did no. well it's so stupid now. You can't talk about shit no more. Well, I did a joke about when, when people pass away, how you gotta look at their, their items when they died to the final insurance policy, and I found a sex tape for her and my father. <laughs> I saw a sex tape of my mother giving my father a blowjob. And then the funeral came. She in the casket with her lips like this. You dumb as shit, boy. I can't oh. stand your fucking ass. My father talking about give your mother one last kiss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I gave. Her, I had a fist bumper. Good night, nigga. <laughs> they were mad as shit. Stupid boy. Shit yeah, happened. man. My mother been gone since two thousand four. Really? You know what? People be so emotional. You can't joke about shit, but like I, I'm not sad. I'm, I mean, I'm not not sad because I don't miss my mother. I miss my mother, but you know, she was sick before she died, so she was suffering. I ain't want to see her suffer no more. I'm happy. Yeah, my, mom, not happy. my mother died. My mother died in '88. I was a kid. Dang, I got you. '88. Yeah. How old were you? '88. Huh? How old were you when she had you? She, your mom was like a thot. She had you like at what seven? Mom. My mother had a normal age. I know your mother had your big ass in two sections. You was you was born on Monday and Tuesday. I know. <laughs> Talk about me, nigga. Oh shit, you got two birthdays, February third and fourth. Wait, where am I? How come I'm not showing up? Yeah, we got February third and fourth. When your birthday? Third and fourth. Boy, February twenty sixth. Why am I not showing up? Can y'all see me? I can see you. Oh, my screen is black over here. You look, uh, I can't, can't see you got purple on you like Marty. I love you. you see that? You love me. We are <laughs> oh, Whatever, whatever, nigga. Can you see me on this? <laughs> whatever. Let's get into the news, girl. All right, so here's what's going on. Wait, hold on before we get into the news. <laughs> look, no, Bree, we ain't see the Statue of Limitations. We should have went. <laughs> but we go that Mickey Flicky. Let me tell you. So, okay. He said Walmart got what for 98 cents? Uh Godiva. That's good. That's that's not the right one though. That's good dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's good diva. You got that good, good diva candy. <laughs> okay, so for some reason I'm dark on my screen, but I see you. you. We see you. Go on. So let's get into the news. Chris Darden, Christopher Darden, let me tell you, Chris Darden said peace. He was he threw up the deuces. Chris got scared, right? Because for some reason, I don't know why, clutch my pearls, Chris is receiving death threats. Mm -hmm. 
he's receiving, he's been receiving death threats for representing the would-be hood assassin of Nipsey Hussle. So mm -hmm. and his family have been receiving death threats. Oh, yeah. That he's out. You know, I'm glad, you know, he did say something that was, that was intelligent, though. He said that if we put more energy, the same energy as a threat to him as we do stopping the violence in our black communities, we be much. He did. That was that was a good statement to make, though. But you know, I mean, my thing is this. I mean, I, do I got a problem with Chris Dalton representing them? No, somebody has to. Somebody has to. Well, I mean, somebody's going to represent the guy, regardless of who it is. I guess you're right, but you know, threaten every black person. I mean, look, Chris Dalton ain't been, been with us ever. He ain't not been on our side, so what we care. This ain't, ain't never, he ain't never been on our side. Yeah. Will, nigga. Never will. Never will. Let me tell you, Chris Darn don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck, and neither do we. Remember you sleep with Marsha Clark, ugly? Remember you sleep with her? On the OJ trial? Yeah, he used to sleep with her, though. Yeah, he used to sleep with her. Mm. sleep with nasty ass Marsha Clark. That's nasty. I can't even. I can't even. I, I fucked Marsha Warfield before I fucked Marsha Clark. <laughs> you are stupid, boy. I'm a fuck Marshall Warfield first. Randy, who are you calling the trick? I missed you. We're a little late paying attention. We gotta pay attention, y'all. Oh my god. Ugh. So listen, hold on, Timmy. I I done fucked up, y'all. This is the new thing, but I can't find my titles no more. Okay, I got them back now. So you don't think that uh, Chris Darden should resign or you think he shouldn't resign? Well, I mean, for his own safety, of course, for his family's safety. But, I mean, I don't know why we getting so mad as a uh, citizen. Somebody has to represent this guy. It's just, that's the way it works. You, you know, you do a crime, you get a lawyer. Well, I agree. But, you know, at the same time, I think that uh, Chris Darden really should have not taken that case. Huh. He's, never been, he's never been for us anyway. He's never been... I mean, why do we care about Chris Dart representing him? He's well, never been for us. He said Chris knew it was coming. They've been coming for his ass. Yeah. yeah. So you take a, a career killing fucking case. This motherfucker got like, do he have a death wish? I mean, what's the what's the what what could be? Yes, everybody is entitled to the due process, and yes, he's yes. trying to make it a black thing now, like one more black man not being represented. This and that, you know, nigga. Nigga, sit your ass down some motherfucking weird. Nobody want to hear that bullshit. You shouldn't have took the case. It's a career killing case, nigga. Why would let me you ask you a question. So what happens if another black a black lawyer takes the case? We gonna say the same thing? I, I'm not defending her. I'm just saying that every black person we, takes the case. Okay, so Lunell made the point, and you know, mind you, it's it's probably not the best way to articulate her point, but I agree wholeheartedly. Not just because I love Lunell, but because the fact is, let that motherfucker get another one of them old cracker. Excuse me, let me take that back. I said I was going to say, hey, 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 do you not do not talk about white people? They might sponsor us one day. Cut that bullshit out. We <laughs> get, we, we never get in the bisco. Fucking with you, I'm trying to get in the bisco. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is, let him get one of them old raggedy ass. Public defenders, black or white, that don't give a fuck about his life and just want to continue to warehouse people. That is the most horrible statement ever in existence, but I agree. Let, let's be real. Let's be real. He's not going to get off anyway. Oh, it's going to be a plea deal anyway. No matter who takes it, he's going to plea out. You think so? Yes, he's going to plea out. They got this thing on video. What more you need? Bother with it. Just plead guilty now. He's not gonna, come on. Black, you know black people don't plead guilty. I mean, my, my wife called me cheating three times. I ain't played guilty yet. That was the lie. That was the lie. That was the lie. Huh? Welcome to the party, y'all. We in here. And well, we yeah, but yeah, it's going to be a plea deal. He said he was calling Chris Darden a dickhead. I agree, Brad. Ah, uh, yeah, he's a dickhead. He, is. he never liked us anyway. He never, he never was for black people anyway. He never liked us. No. So why do we care? He never did. So y'all welcome to the party. Um, like and share this feed as always. We're here each and every weekday morning talking about anything and everything, and mostly absolutely nothing. nothing. The fuck we do, we don't really talk. we don't know shit. 
together, we, we together we probably just graduated high school. That's how far education goes. She got sixth grade. She did. She did one through six. I did six through twelve. I'm smart. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. If you were smart, you wouldn't be on this fucking live at ten ten every goddamn morning. You'd be doing something positive with your life. No, you dumb, just like me. The real useful shit, right? Right. <laughs> Fuck you, Timmy. <laughs> Fuck you, little Timmy. <laughs> That's a smart response. Right. So if if I, I agree. I agree. Chris uh, should step down, but I think that the damage is already done. It's no. a ass. He's fucking out of here. Yeah. Ain't nobody fucking with you, Chris. You ain't got nothing else. You done killed your career. Right. You know, fucked up the case. The boy, I, I, but here's the thing. Welcome, Kendria. Welcome to the party. Like and share this feed. The uh, judge might not let him step down because I think you have to be, you know, you the, the death threats might be valid and like might be uh, a justifiable reason, but they don't just let you take these cases and then drop them just like that. Yeah. You have to have a real significant reason. Yeah. He'll get what? out of it. He'll get out of it. The case too, over, case too high profile. He'll get out of it. He will. Okay. Yeah, and they'll give some, you know, just saying, and they'll give some crack, some some white lawyer, like you said, some little public defender. That's yeah. what they get. Which is what he should have had in the first fucking place. Public defenders don't give a fuck about your life. They could care less. Zero. I said, I said, nigga, go to jail for jaywalking. Public <laughs> defender said, <laughs> off of thirty days. Public defender said, yep, that's a good deal. But jaywalking. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm telling you, man. Listen, I mean, it, it's it's sad. But it's I'm not laughing at the fact that our people don't get represented, but you know, some of the motherfuckers don't really need representation. What they need is like death penalty. The, uh, the morning after pill. That's the fuck they need. Yeah, I know. So you know, I took the morning after pill, nigga, you 43. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, after. you should have been you should have been swallowed. <laughs> you should have been somebody's stomach. You should have been swallowed. You're disgusting. <laughs> But I'm telling you. Well, now right. I'm disgusting. You're anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Kodak Black ass back in the news. Oh okay. lord. Apparently, uh, Kodak Black's uh, lawyer. I don't know if it's a public defender or just a regular old motherfucker. Kodak Black ass is his attorney. Um, she said Timmy got the day off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Yeah, that's why he going through this whole fee. Listen, Kodak Black's lawyer got mad because, you know, the police did what they do. They they had him in custody. They got him in custody. Y'all know he he was arrested for uh what the fuck was he arrested for? Let me find that information. I have it, but I can't remember cuz who gives a fuck about Kodak Black? I don't know. Nevertheless, he the feds are or his lawyers are all up in arms because what? He, um, they took a picture of him while in custody and all this bullshit. The nigga had on like a powder blue fucking jumpsuit and like a Gucci jumpsuit. Not no, yeah, that's a new Gucci line. Oh god, this clown. When I tell you, know who is he and where the fuck did he come from? He's an asshole. He's just stupid as hell. Just young and stupid. He dumb. He's young and stupid. Man. Yeah. He's just stupid. So his lawyer uh, slams the uh, cops for sharing the custody pic because apparently, but Kodak was into it. If you guys go to uh, Media Takeout, Kodak was posing for the motherfucking pic. So the guy's name is Brian Enton and he shared it on his Twitter. Timmy, I don't know. I'm not like the police or anything, but isn't it like against the rules to share that sort of thing? Yeah, it's privacy. It's privacy act. Yeah, of course. Okay, of course. so I understand why it's okay. Cause like why okay. what, the you think they the cop got in trouble? Yeah, I'm sure he did. That's you can't do that. That's a privacy thing. You can't share your know, the personal pictures of somebody on your page. And they like marshals. Nah, they, yeah, yeah. He got in trouble, believe me. Mm. He really did. That was stupid. So they grabbed him in Miami. He mm. got um, he got caught up after some kind of uh, gang thing. So the gang unit, Miami Dade PD and and uh, Northside Gang Unit, mm -hmm. him. His name is Capri. Well, mm -hmm. you know it's funny. 
Uh, I, I wonder if it had anything to do with a, shoot, a, shooting, a shooting just happened in Miami uh, last week. At a, it was a club inside of a mall or something, and somebody mm -hmm. got killed. So I wonder if it had something to do with that. It was a big, 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 a big thing going on in Miami. Actually, in Miami, rappers were getting shot at. Rick Ross, too. Well, not Rick Ross. Um, Slim Thug, another rapper, got shot at. They shot his car. They was just shooting, shooting rappers left and right in Miami, shooting at the car of their vehicles. They're rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Rappers. Same thing, nigga. <laughs> rabbits, rappers. So rabbits, rappers. Thug. Yeah, Slim Thug. I she got his vehicle shot at, and uh, like I said, murder just happened at a club in Miami. It's been something going on in Miami, real big with these rappers. Something. Uh -huh. So I always uh -huh. had something to do with that. I, mean, I wonder if it had something to do with that. I'm I'm fucking around. So can y'all still see me? Cause my shit is blacked out. Now I can see you. I can see you. Okay. I'm testing. I'm testing stuff, y'all. <laughs> uh, I bet you are. That's how I you got started. That's how the drug started. You just testing crack. Here's a test. You know what? <laughs> y'all passed. I, I was studying for a row. I just was like too. I was in too deep, nigga. You're in too deep. <laughs> that was a new movie, In Too Deep Part Two. Studying for a row, and Harry Berry got it. Uh huh. Let's talk, I, about, let's talk I, about our last story. Yeah. Hey, get that last story up there. Okay. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, here's, here's what we have now. Wow. What we have is I'm live and I can't talk to you, but what we have is Steve Harvey is stupid is the title of an article that came up in the root. Look at our shit. We got some fly ass shit going on. Yeah. This article was so seething. Little Timmy. Yeah. Did you see it? No, I can't see it. Oh my God. Steve Harvey, I, we, we got to talk about this. We have to get all the way into this. So I got to tell y'all, let me read just, just a caption of the article. Steve Harvey is stupid. Not our words. This is what the fucking article said. Welcome to the party, more Maroki. Like and share the feed, y'all. Yeah. This right here, when I tell you they went in on this cat, I mean, like, ooh, what the fuck? They hate him. So the article goes in, you know, recently in, in the wake of Steve's show getting canceled, there's a lot of chatter about, mm -hmm. you know, him, his behavior, the real reasons behind why he uh, why he got canceled and that sort of thing, right? The thing is, whoever the author, and I'll tell you in a second, of this article is, listen, they do not like Steve they Harvey. They went in, didn't they? They do not like Steve Harvey. No. I'm going to share with you my favorite quote from the fucking article. But when I tell you, this cat, uh, the author is Michael Harriet. That's his name. He wrote the article on Wednesday. It's an op-ed piece on uh, the root.com, right? So let me tell you, this dude, he said some, some people already know, right? Some people know things. Many, however, are able to eke out more than a modest living by convincing people that they know things. They aren't blessed with the gift of knowledge as much as they are blessed with the gift of charismatic sophistry. I think he made that up because that's not a word. Nevertheless, politicians call it spin. Poets describe it as silver tongued. Niggas who smoke Newports call it a nice mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> this distinct brand of slick mouthing is often practiced by preachers, psychics, and a particular con man term president. Mm. Wow. Wow. And also, Steve Harvey. So, this dude went in. He said, for years, we watched the third funniest king of comedy, which I think makes him a duke, <laughs> not quite a king, or maybe a viceroy of comedy, slowly transform himself from a slightly amusing mustachioid jester into a Bible-thumping self-improvement guru who hawks seven grade level self-help books to church ladies on how they can make themselves worthy of love by putting... Mm -hmm. On a rigorous 90 day do not fuck regimen. Wow. No. Damn. But you That's know what? He right. That's not even the heat of it. Right. Okay. Hey, how can he give all the fight? 
You you, you go ahead, act like a woman, think like a man, be divorced by Tuesday. He fuck up with Steve. <laughs> he don't know shit about love. This big ass, he don't know shit about love. You know, women are using Steve Harvey as a goddamn. He's a goddamn romantic guru. You stupid as hell. Well, you know, a lot of people bought into it. A lot. Yeah, they did. That was stupid, though. Into it. Let me tell you, that's not even all of it, though. Here's, here's my favorite quote from the fucking article. This, this dude, I want to find him and probably have a grandbaby with him and, and I hope that the next generation will be smarter and won't have to have these conversations every morning with people like t- little Timmy. This is my favorite quote. He says, and not only is Harvey a wretched, wretched factory refurbished respectability fuck troll whose comedic repertoire is limited to pregnant pauses between second and third strikes on Family Feud, but he also doesn't know things. <laughs> uh, I like to say that. That's funny. That is funny. Oh, my God. Did he light that ass up or he what? He that ass up. He lit him up. It's all the way. Oh, you up. know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I've always said that. I, I never understood why people thought Steve Harvey was smart. I never, I never got it. Whoever people always, smart. But people always buy into the fact that Steve Harvey always giving his special great advice and this, that, and the third. And he the same person always talking about you gotta be humble and then turn around and be arrogant right behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't think he turns around and be arrogant. He's just an arrogant motherfucker. Yeah, Any- but if, you know, he'll be saying, he'll sit there and be like, yeah, go, give it to God. God, y'all can't afford these shoes I got on today. None of y'all can get these. Let's, like, think- let me let y'all hear something, though, before we go in on. So Steve actually, you know, he, he actually cited a few of Steve's own uh, quotes and things and shit like that. But mm-hmm. beyond that, he says, uh, you know, Steve is dead wrong about his perspective. Clearly, he's not a Steve Harvey fan. But Steve had a uh, Instagram. Somebody he somebody put a video on Instagram. That's what I'm trying to scroll through here and find. So this is going to get easier and smoother, you guys, as soon as we get, like, $20. So we get yeah. to yeah. pretend yeah. like her. We got to get spawned in Nabisco. I'm trying to get Nabisco. I'm trying to get Nabisco, and I'm trying to get uh, Lil Debbie. Sponsors. And he's talking about Lil Debbie the crackhead, okay? I'm Lil Debbie crackhead, yeah. He's not talking about Lil Debbie the, the food yeah. crackhead. Yeah. But I hope y'all can hear this. Check this out. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't even 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleeping. <laughs> you can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. Which pe- so basically, pass a hobby. Pass a. Not yeah, pass- pass- basically, tell your ass to take some no-dos and pass- get up all goddamn night. Says that it is irresponsible to sleep eight hours per day. Stupid. It's That's fun. dumb. That's dumb a- to say. AF. Okay. He says... Well, don't sleep eight hours a day. It is irresponsible. That's a third of your life. It ain't for 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in L.A. and... Basically, that's the most important third of your life. Because if you don't get that rest, it may not be eight hours every day, but you should shoot for eight. Okay. Right, right. You should. You should be. Uh, if you really are out here on your grind, you're gonna get it in where you can. But you're gonna make the money because you're gonna be refueled. And right. in it, what the fuck are you talking about, Mister? Yeah. It, I don't no, you know. Gonna, you gonna mess around, and get your ass sick though. Know, you gotta get proper rest and everything you do. You know, we all out grind all the time, man. You. You know, um, we still find time to get our rest. I mean, that's just stupid as hell to say. You know, eight hours a day, whatever. Whatever. Like, show got canceled, bitch. They quiet as fuck today. You know what I'm saying? Like, show got canceled. Because I, I, I want to know where anybody is on this shit. Okay? Are you a Steve Harvey fan? Are you a Steve Harvey fan? No, never was. Never was. And the more shit that comes out, welcome to Mika Joy. Welcome to the party, boo-boo. 
the more that comes out about this guy, like the less I can uh, subscribe to his his thought process. You know, he's he to me. You know, he if he had me, he lost me with the Trump shit, right? Yeah. If I like the nigga, you know what I mean. Yeah. And that whole Trump debacle, it wasn't even that he uh, that he uh, went to meet with Trump. It was the platform upon which he went to meet. Now, more has come out since then that made me sort of rethink my complete position on it. But before that, I wasn't a Steve Harvey fan. So, right. in fact, you know, when you don't dig somebody, anything they do is like, ah, you yeah. know, like that. But I, I do understand where he was coming from when he went to visit Trump. But I think that he should have deferred to somebody who was more suited to, to do that. He right, wasn't. exactly. He, he wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't. He definitely wasn't. I just I knew that. Think that I mean, like I said, I, I'm not a Steve Harvey fan, but I think the Monique thing really did it for me. You know, basically put your pride, put your dignity and pride away just, just to get this money. Yeah, and we talked about that on Friday. You know, Again, I don't. I know that that's not what he meant by that. I know that's not. But he does not have the intestinal fortitude to articulate, you exactly. know, his position. So first of all, you're not a housing professional. You have no fucking right. idea how to fix housing. Find somebody more suited to do that. Exactly. Helping motherfuckers do your nonprofit, you know, with whatever you do, you're reaching only a a, a minuscule portion of the population. And the shit you do. I understand wanting to broaden your outreach efforts, but get a motherfucker. That's like a, a brain surgeon, right? Mm. Go in and pull teeth. That's not what the fuck you do, nigga. Get a dentist to pull the teeth. You stay with the brain. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that people definitely can do different things uh, along the course of their lives. And people can certainly endeavor to learn and, 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 Obtain the ability to do new shit, but stick to the shit that works. Yeah. And one of the things that he could have done is he could have, he could have, based on his influence and access, he could have coordinated a whole group of powerhouse motherfuckers, heavy hitters, more suited to go in and, and create the opportunity. You should have known that this guy, who is a sociopathic, narcissistic maniac. Yeah. Is not going in. This is this motherfucker. You know, this is the white power symbol. This is this nigga's whole symbolic platform. Every time he's doing something, he's doing this shit. That's like flashing gang signs. Right. You, this motherfucker don't have no real good intent for you. And everybody got caught up. But everybody who did that shit, it's like dancing with the devil. Them motherfuckers suffering. Look, where's yeah. Chrisette Michelle? Where's she now? Yeah. When the last time you heard anything from Chrisette Michelle? Yeah. She played that inauguration when nobody else would. Even, oh, that's it. Uh, what's his name from the roots? My man. With the comb in his head. Oh, yeah. Uh, Quest Love. Quest Love offered, rumor has it, Quest Love offered to pay her not to go. He did. But the bitch went in. Yeah, she went anyway. She got, she went and got that little money. Everybody so. else saying no. Every mm. black boy, and they treated her like shit. She mm -hmm. said, they treated her so bad when she was there, you know, and most of the people who went and did that, it's like, it's like you dancing for the devil. Domino effect. Yeah, that shit fucked them up. Oh, yeah. And have you heard anything from the Secretary of HUD? Anything? Nope. Nothing. And you never will. You know why? Oh, what they needed was a nigga that they could set in that spot. Hold on. And, and been, yeah, exactly. We've been causing that. That's my point. Gone. And other, other, yeah, he gone. I mean, he ain't done shit. He ain't done. You ain't heard nothing from him. Hut. He can't make no decisions at all. Cause he's he don't he. First of all, he don't have the capacity. Oh yeah. He is famous for being a uh, uh, a heart doctor. Is it heart or brain? Heart, right? Mm -hmm. Heart. No, it's no. brain. Brain. Brain surgeon. Whatever the fuck he is, he's famous for that. And rumor has it that that's not really what he does. But Ben Carson. Why would you pick him to head the housing agency? Why would you him? He don't have no housing in his in his history. Well, first don't... of all, nobody nobody in none of the positions have any any uh goddamn experience in what they do. Look at look at the girl for education. 
Huh? Land of education. She has nothing to do with it. She don't shit. <laughs> he uh, been for a long time. That motherfucker been robbing and stealing from niggas for since forever. Yeah. Hey, shit. The, that, that whole debacle, man. Steve Harvey, I don't know what he thought. I think this is a clear example <laughs> of people getting uh like getting high on their own hype. You know what I mean? I mm. think he thinks that he thought that he was probably in a better position than he actually was. Yeah, you know? see, that's the thing. Steve Harvey ass got too comfortable. You know when he said that shit about my nigga, go oh, get your money, and his ass got canceled. You cannot get comfortable and you cannot sit there and think. You, let me tell you something. And somebody, my grandfather told me this. I love white people. Don't get me wrong, because they pay me better than all you black people. Fuck you. But they do. Yo, they give me every time they give me a check it's from a bank. I can recognize. Anyway, fuck you. They will always let you in, but you'll never be in. In you'll, they give you a peek inside, but you'll never stay in it. That's the truth. So you you can think that you that you in, but you'll never get in. Thanks, Jamon. Jamon said he likes the app. He like the app. In, in ain't always in. You know what I that, mean? That's what I'm saying. That's my point. You, you know what I'm saying? That's not my, always my point. You know what I mean? You got you got to create your own. But Steve, Steve got too comfortable. Steve got his ass comfortable, whatever, and thought that, oh, yeah, just go make your money. Go make your money, Steely. Don't say nothing to nobody. Monique, they, why would you say something to them white people? <laughs> like a damn slave. You have said something. The mess, talking to Monique, the mess me up. <laughs> that nigga blaming on me. Monique done got me fired. <laughs> Damn. I'm telling you, man, that shit right there. When I tell you, it is like it, it's it's a, a, a quadruple edge sword. Yeah. You can't even um, I don't know. You can't even like venture off into that space without expecting some backlash. And I think that it's just like going into a uh, a police situation, right. you know, that you know is hostile and tumultuous without no backup. Yeah, you well, know that's why. That's why I don't get out the car. Fuck backup. I never, I never in my career needed backup. You know, and I, 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 I'm telling you, I showed up. I always showed up after everything was over. I'm always <laughs> after the fact. They're like, they be like, oh, we, we got enough units. I'm like, I'm on the scene. I ain't never show up on time. I ain't not, if I showed up first, I ride around the corner just to show up last. Also, I miss shot. Another one be right with me and ride the fuck off. I ain't never show up first enough, the girl. I roll past so many niggas before. You be waving to me with, with a bullet in your head. I just wave back. I ain't never do shit. You crazy? But show up first. After the fact, that shit is hilarious. Somebody told me one time. Also, I think it's somebody in my house. Well, we are gonna wait for him to come out. But when he come out, then you can go in. But let, let him do what he got to do first. First of all, you, you, first of all, why you leave the house? Why you, why you leave the house? You, you, go, you, uh, you, go. <laughs> you know what? You I, used to make the, I used to make the victim feel bad. My mother was like, oh, I was robbed. Why are you, are you out so late? Why are you out so late? If you weren't out this late, you wouldn't get robbed. You know what they say to me, Street? <laughs> you know what they say to you? You out this late, now you want to report. For what? What is a piece of paper, what is a piece of paper going to do for you? You have your money already gone. <laughs> you won't report. You are stupid, boy. No, I didn't hate that shit. Y'all won't report for every fucking thing. Also, I've been shot. Why you want a piece of paper? It's, look, you I already done that. You got shot. I agree. Period. As long as your face ain't on the money, you ain't in control of shit. You got that shit right. Whether your face on the money or not, nigga, half the motherfuckers on earth ain't, ain't their face ain't on we the ain't money. Control. But... That shit, let me tell you, I feel, I don't feel bad for him, but I feel like if people don't get something from this, you know, and, and again, the point I was trying to make in the beginning and we got thrown off cause you silly. The point I was trying to make was, you know, he was right in his effort. Somebody needed to be at the table, you know, not no sellout like Omarosa or, you know, somebody who know their way who can't navigate that that arena because they tricked him and he was like easy he was easy prey you know what i'm saying because he said they they had one conversation at the table and then when he got ready to leave trump was like let me walk you out he was like oh okay he wants to walk me out he probably was feeling that thing oh this now i'm a bad motherfucker <laughs> you know uh, exactly yeah man that, and, and they were manipulating him the whole entire time which is why he should never have done that 
Yeah, you know Steve. Steve, you know Steve, though, man. You know how they got him up there, right? right. Now, I'm talking, I'm talking. When they walked like, out, yeah. he got downstairs, and there was all these reporters when he got off the elevator, blah, 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 you know. And it was just, it was it was a photo op. It was a, a press. It was a uh, uh, media um, ploy. It was, it was, he was prey. He was right. prey. And it was par for the course, too. Because he had no motherfucking business in there without. He shouldn't have been in the first place. You're nope. right. He should have been able because he had a, a end, but he should have came with the real forces. You yeah. know, that's the reason Trump didn't never invite nobody that's a real adversary to him. Nobody. Yeah. He no, don't he to him. even the people in his cabinet who are real adversaries to him. He don't fucking continue with them. You no, say no. against him, and he just he communicates you. Hey, who? Who in the history of the White House has fired this many people from their cabinet in one motherfucking goddamn uh, election? Uh, exactly. Damn, he she be firing people like that, and then he fires somebody like every week. Every week somebody get fired. And not she just fired somebody. These are uh, heads. These are cabinet members. Nigga, he fired me, and I don't even work for him. <laughs> they call me up to my. You fired. Trump don't want you no more. I don't even work for him. He fired you by default. He heard yeah. you. Ask Nearly tried to work a call. <laughs> yeah. Like, I ain't even mean to, nigga. I just was going to get some chicken wings from the area. And fired me. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, man, that shit right there is foul. Foul. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right, girl. Get out of here, little Timmy. What's your week looking like? Well, I got a show in New York with uh, TK Kirkland, Joe Class, Smokey Suarez, John Hinton, and Carl Payne. In New York this weekend, this Saturday. Motherfuckers. What is it, yeah. a marathon show? Yeah, it's at a the theater, so we doing that this weekend. Okay, that's nice. Last show, last show in Baltimore with Howard G. And from Cough. <laughs> He's still doing comedy? <laughs> <laughs> He's still, hey, nigga, hey, hey, nigga, you know somebody like that? Hey, I got to do a shout with Howard G. He's still around? <laughs> <laughs> I think I been, I think I've been doing comedy so goddamn long. Shit, I think I've been doing comedy since like Slappy White. I think I've been doing comedy for a long time. Bonneville. Yeah, I got a show at Corinthians, the club, a little restaurant club in uh, Baltimore Sunday. So I'm doing uh, it this weekend. All weekend, you all over the globe. Here, here, here. But actually, you in uh, New York Friday. Saturday. Saturday. And Sunday, I'm in Baltimore. Saturday. Huh? What's Friday? Friday is nothing. Friday is rest. So Trying to get some rest. You're on uh, Saturday, Saturday and um, Baltimore Sunday. Sunday. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yep. So this has been amazing. Hey, well, y'all, comment in the in the feed if you guys like this program. I'm home. Today, so I'm gonna go ahead. And, uh, so when I get off of here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, honor the month, uh, masturbation month. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Just wanna make sure this month, you know, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it alive. I'm gonna keep the dream alive. Masturbation month. So when I got the phone with you, I'm gonna pretty much go ahead and uh, honor the holiday. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> oh, he petty as shit. Jamal said, "How would G did a show with Charlie Chaplin?" <laughs> no, he uh, wasn't. Nigga. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna stop fucking with uh, Howard G. He kiss his bumper. Yeah. Just kiss it. Anyway, Charlie Chaplin. This has been fun. We, we're gonna master right. uh program by right. uh hopefully right. we'll, more shit. We'll be able to drop some video in here and uh other stuff. I'll be back at work tomorrow. Messing with the back in the oh, car. Junkie patrol. Anybody need something? They sell, they, sell it. they sell everything. They sell everything. And I'll tell you, a junkie tries to sell me a wisdom tooth. You don't want anything from, from the Homeboy Shopping Network, okay? No, seriously. None of that shit. A motherfucker tried to sell me a wisdom tooth the other day. Yeah. Joking. yeah. And, and it would have been unwise to purchase. Yeah. I almost got it. Your shit make you smarter. Big ass yeah. wisdom tooth. Yeah. Yeah. That's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Back Reason. on Junkie Patrol. That's all he doing. That is it. Thank God you got a day off and shit. Yeah, girl, that rain, nigga. I seen. I was. It was. I, I had to go down there though, nigga. That poncho was on. 
You know you want you know you want some drugs. We got ponchos on. Ponchos on and was out there selling mothers. <laughs> mothers for mothers. I got this mother. I got a few good mothers out here. <laughs> Shit. Hell no. I don't want it. I don't want it. All right, little Timmy. All right, baby. Love you. you gotta- out of here. This is boss, but you know it's still too good for this shit. Yes, it is. All right, babe. Oh, A Train. Hold on. A Train, what's up? What up? A Train, we talked about your show um before we got off. Hold on. Let me uh see if I can alter this thing a little bit and make it better. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. I'm doing too much. Anyway. We talked about your show this weekend, and I didn't get in. He <laughs> said a two. I didn't get a chance to um, go into what you did, but I'll let you talk about that another time. So y'all give it up, comedian A Train, fresh off the Power Morning Show. This cat got on the road. These you talk about a grind. This boy. This man boy will drive 43 hours. Okay. Hey, Tamika Joy, I love you too, boo boo. Y'all like and share this feed. Show the love and share the love. He will drive 43 hours on zero sleep and then jump on stage like three or four stages in one night, then get right up and do it again the next day and then drive across country and do some other shit. I don't know where he gets the energy. I really don't think he's human. He don't use curse words, don't drink, take drugs, or none of that shit. So he's a vampire. It's clear. I'm sorry, A-Train. I outed you right here. My bad. Tamika Joy. Glenda the Good Witch. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. So as always, Timmy and I will be here. And next week, we'll be able to bring others into the broadcast. Well, not next week. Hopefully, before this week is out, as soon as we figure out how to make it work, we'll be able to bring others into the broadcast and show videos and clips. So, you know, if you got topics, drop them. Don't be scared to say nothing, though, because we on this motherfucker. We're talking about anything and everything and mostly absolutely nothing. So don't don't judge us if we don't know what the fuck we're talking about, because most of the time we don't. And that's really what we base our life on. We just talk about shit. We want to know. We that group. We just talk about shit. We don't know what the fuck we be talking about. We just talk. You know why? Because <laughs> everybody else do it. Does it. I got to work on my diction. Articulation. Not ejaculation. Anyway, I think it's time for me to go because I know we over. We don't have our producer today, and I know he's gonna say that we're doing too much shit, and I'm I'm just rambling. Get the fuck out of here. That's the kind of shit. So I'm gonna tell myself, get off. You four minutes over. You six minutes over. Just get off. I think we probably an hour over today. Anyway, you know why? Because we got caught up. We got caught up in the fanfare of our new shit now. I'm just like getting caught up in in love with the sound of my own voice in this fucking software because it is amazing. I love it. Thank you, Tamika Joy. I'm going to keep pushing. That is the mother of treasure joy and cherish love, my love. Anyway, I love y'all. What message? What message, Bree? I didn't see your message. Anyway, so we're going to be able to bring the fans in. I think if you're talking about uh, bringing you into the feed, I don't know if that's it. Yeah, I, I don't know what message. What message, Bree? What message? Tell me real quick before I hang up because I got to hang up. I don't know if I saw your message or not. So anyway, okay, check my IM. Got it. All right, out of here. We out of here, and uh, we thank you, as always, for tuning in. We'll be back here tomorrow morning, hopefully on time, because it's too early for this shit. And that's it. Bye. Peace.